was uh, one of the positions of one of my, my nocturnes, or night landscapes. In fact, it was, uh, it was just as we're standing right here with these mountain ranges in the back. Uh, again, the mountains were pitch black, the sky was a very dark blue, and the, the stars were everywhere. Um, a fun note about this is that at the time that I was shooting these nightscapes, I was literally surrounded by coyotes. Uh, they're everywhere out here. Uh, they don't attack creatures, at least this is what I was told, uh, that are larger than them, but the fact that they were literally everywhere kind of made me finish my shoot a little bit earlier than I had planned. I had figured I might be able to fight them off with my tripod if needed, but it didn't come to that. These are some of the evening landscapes that I photographed. There's a lot more, but these are the only two that I framed for the exhibit. This piece here, this is the alluvial soil that we briefly discussed earlier. Um, to some eyes, it may seem uh, a rather bland uh, still life, but in the greater context of this show, this is literally where everything comes from. This is the soil where the grapes grow. Uh, it has volcanic ash, I'm told, in it, uh, which is one of the acidic properties that allows the grapes to, to flourish uh, in certain conditions. Uh, and this is where it all starts. So uh, in, a, in a kind of a, a literal sense, I was starting at the ground up and going all the way up to the landscape and the skies and everything in between. You're an artist in residence yes. here at this um, winery. What is the artist in residence program here? Well, it was a program uh, initiated um, many years ago, uh, but I am uh, the first one, I think within the last five years, I think the program kind of uh, fell by the wayside a little bit and then it was reinitiated and I'm, the, I'm proud to be the, the first one since uh, I believe the late 90s. Um, and what it, what it uh, entails is the artist is chosen after an extensive review program of applicants. Uh, the artist stays here on the residence in one of the many cottages and produces a body of work based on the people, the process, the landscape, the history of the land and the manor house. Uh, and then the uh, exhibit is produced and the artist in residence returns for the exhibit. We had uh, a very rare and very bright harvest moon while I was here. So I thought that I would do a classic turn on the classic California landscape and do nightscapes. Mm. Uh, so I went out every night and photographed uh, very minimal images of the landscape with the stag's leap palisades, the mountains in the distance, all lit up by this very rare bright harvest moon. So what pieces, is this the entirety of the collection and what pieces were chosen then for um, stag leaps to hold on to as part of their collection? Well, this is, uh, I believe it's 14 framed works and uh, unframed profile silhouettes of the winemakers. Um, there were hundreds of images, uh, probably five to 600 in total, but uh, we edited it down to these, and, but there's a lot more that I'm still actually reviewing and working on. When you're working with black and white film, of course you're focused on silhouette, design, shape, contrast, uh, and now you have this amazing element of color that I had to deal with. Uh, it was quite exciting, quite fun. Of course, I was on a learning curve, um, but uh, I just photographed a lot and then edited, and we have some great images as a result. So, Jeff, now for the lightning round, the Star Threes. Yes. First question, what's your favorite, you have a look of anticipation, <laughs> what's your favorite beer or wine that you love to sip on, drink? Well, before my residency, uh, being a lad from Pennsylvania, it was Ling Yingling, America's oldest brewery. Um, but now after, um, I've become a, a wine fan. So my favorite wine from Stag's Leap is uh, their brand called The Leap. It's phenomenal. And I understand I'm getting a few bottles as a gift. <laughs> Fabulous. <laughs> What's your favorite food, something you just love to eat? Hmm. I'm a big fan of seafood. Seafood. All Any types. particular? Everything. 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 Yep. Fabulous. And finally, what's your favorite gadget? Um, well, I guess this will be obvious. It's my new camera, the one that I, I worked on this project with. Uh, it's a lot of camera, and I'm, I'm still learning some of the aspects of it, so it's, it's very fun. It's my new toy. Care to share? Model? Yes, type? it is the uh, Canon 5D Mark II. Do you have a favorite lens or a rig that you like to put on it? Whatever's on at the moment, uh, I just kind of throw a lens on there and uh, that just becomes part of whatever I'm working on. Fabulous, thank you so much. Sure thing, thank you. Perfect, that's great. I like one of the details. Everyone's like, yeah, we haven't had one like in my time. Yeah, it's coming out strong.
Yeah, yeah they are. They you are. Know what? We'll let you go. Again. <laughs> Quiet on the set. <laughs> He's getting a little annoyed with us, but you know, I think no. we're doing okay. No, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the man just dropped James Cameron's name in there. Yeah, yeah absolutely. It's important. It's very important. <laughs> okay, so. Uh, I'm marketing. Are we actually going to talk? I want him to know that we, you know, we actually do talk to some interesting. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. <laughs>